Bonjour et bienvenue. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Yes, I do look a little bit French today in this t-shirt, if I do say so myself, but I think it's I think it's quite smart. It's quite a nice t-shirt. Anyway, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to episode 13 of AFC Greg's. Today we have a cup double for you in both of the kind of smaller cups than the FA Cup. It's the FA Challenge Trophy and the Northern Premier League Cup. Two really important trophies that we're definitely going to try and win this season. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy this episode and roll the intro. Yes, so while you were away, this is what has happened so far. We have last played uh, Romania and we drew 2-2 with Witten. We just won two games since then. Fairly convincing wins. Um, yes, you are correct. You, maybe some of the keen-eyed viewers have seen that. Yes, Daniel Langley, our goalkeeper, did score in the 4-1 victory over uh, Witten. Uh, not Witten. Colne. Over Colne. Um I did let him take a penalty in the 90 plus one minute because, you know, why not give him give him a goal for the season? You know, he's kept some clean cheats. He's only conceded seven goals. Why the hell not give him a goal to his tally as well? <laughs> why the hell not for Daniel Langley? He's been very good so far. We have been conceding a couple of goals recently. Obviously, the two against Witten, the one against Colne, the one against Warrington, and the one against uh, Warrington made it 2-1, I think. And then they started to get back into the game a little bit. And I was like, oh, no. And it was an absolutely unbelievable goal from like 30 yards as well. A couple of long ranges is what seems to be going in rather than anything else. You know, maybe a couple of free kicks. Apart from that, we seem to be okay. We're still first in the league. Let's take a look at the league table. Here we have it. We're two points clear. We've won one more game, basically, and Hyde have drawn. Um, so Hyde will be in the next episode because our schedule looks a little bit like this. So today we have Kurz and Ashton, team in the league above. We're going to be playing them in the FA Trophy second round. I'd actually like to go quite far in the FA Trophy. I think it's a trophy that we can perhaps do okay in. Next season, I'd like us to try and win it because, you know, it's the kind of non-league um, EFL trophy for the non-league, basically. And I think that's the one that we should be aiming for. I'd like to win it at some point before we go up into the Football League. If we ever go up into the Football League, you never know. And then we play Marine, who we lost to. And I can't rem I think I remember this being a match which we just should have won. Yeah, 22 shots to their five, six on target to their one shot on target, and we lose 1-0. Absolute FM to that game. If you're not familiar with Football Manager... That happens every now and again, which it does happen in football. Yes, it does. But it's kind of annoying when you've put together a run of like 24 games unbeaten or something and then you lose some ridiculous game that you weren't expecting to lose. But uh, yeah, so we need revenge on Marine for that. And then in the next episode, I think we're going to bring you Hyde and Basford because it's second place and ninth place. I think those are two pretty good games for you to watch. And then we've got Marine again, which I'm not going to bring you, um, which has been rearranged for this Marine game, I think. So we were playing them anyway, and now we've got a cup double for you. As you can see, we've got a decent chunk of the season left. Once we've done these important games, I'll probably leave it until January, where I can kind of show you how we've done for the season, give us a mid-season review, and then we'll do like one more here, and then a kind of end of the season, where we have a very tough end of the season. We have Matlock, who are fourth. We have Hyde, who are second. So those two last games of the season could be huge for us, or we could have already won the league. Who knows? We shall see... So let's get into this game then. Uh, Langley in goal, Blakeman, Ngomorakitsa, Malokwu and Claxton across the back. James, the youth player, uh, the 16-year-old Welsh central defensive midfielder. It says he's a central defender. He's not. He's a central defensive midfielder. And Becker, who has come on leaps and bounds since the last time you saw him, he was just kind of being like, all right. He's certainly started to get much more involved with play now that we've gone to the 4-2-4. Jackson and Bulkley inside forwards. Maguire, we're pushing more to the left, but actually the right probably does a little bit more because of the Sun's flick headers and stuff. So let's get into this game. Submit the team. And uh, we are away from home against Kurz and Ashton. I've gone all out with the first team for this game because I do want to get through in this trophy. And it's a real test for our team as well because they are in the league above. So the teams are out then. Kurz and Ashton in their very quite nice darkish blue kit, kind of a royally blue. 
almost a hint of purple in there as well as he dinks the ball forward and it's picked up by Ngomara Kitsa. Maguire already has the ball at his feet, which is good to see. What can he do with it? Can he find Bulkley out on the wing? Bulkley's kind of running away from him and he's end up going back to Claxton. And Becker now, he shoots, goes for goal, hits the bar. He loves it. He loves to shoot from range and Becker and I'm fine with it because a lot of them, you get rebounds, you get corners, you get things like that. We just look like we're going to score a little bit more and has a good chance there and it's come off the bar. Trotman with the throw in for Curzon Ashton down the other end. 13 minutes in, good cross in, headed away well by Malokwu. Wood picks it up, his pin chart. Evans, Stevenson, he shoots, it's wide. No real danger there, I wasn't too worried about that one. Langley with the goal kick then. He kicks the ball forward in search of a Yin San. He does win the header, knocks it down to Jackson. Can Jackson find a pass to Maguire or can he get past his man? He goes for the shot wide. Not the best effort there from Jackson. 20 minutes played then, and it's a clearance down the keeper, uh, down the field from the keeper. Here's Jackson on the left. He's come out wide to get the ball and now cut inside. Good ball in towards a Yin San flicked header on. Off the top of the bar, top of the net kind of thing. And uh, yet again, Greggs don't get the goal. But Curzon Ashton have another goal kick here. Mason clears it over the halfway line. It's won yet again by Greggs. We're winning all the headers, but we've lost the man now. Knowles is through one-on-one. -on -one, tries to slot it in, if, in off the post. Picked up by Blakeman and then cleared by Ngomra Keats. I thought Blakeman's going to run it into his own net then. And it's still nil-nil. Throw in for Curzon Ashton on the left. Stevenson picks it up. Plays the ball back to Evans. And Evans can now get himself on the ball. Here's Wood. Pinchard. Great pass through. Unbelievable tackle, though, from Ngomara Keita. That was an incredible tackle. Wow. It looked like he was going to hack straight through him. Somehow he's gone round him. And somehow we're not losing. That, 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 that was an incredible. Incredible. Langley claims the corner. That's going to be the end of the highlight. And Gomer Akita is coming on and on as a player as well, which is really good to see from a youth player that didn't get poached, because all the other ones did. Half time and nil nil. And I'm okay with the performance so far. Curzon Ashton have the higher XG, but they've had fewer chances to get that. They've just been more likely to score those chances. And so far, we've had Ngomer Akita come in with a great tackle. We've had Langley with a couple of saves. We've had them put it wide. Whereas we have pretty much just been putting it wide or over. Uh, get back out there and grab the win for us is what I'm going to say, which doesn't really inspire anyone. But we get into the second half and we're five minutes in now already without a highlight. Throw in to Curzon Ashton on the right side. First highlight of the second half in the 65th minute. Cowan clears the ball long. It's headed up in the air by Knowles, who is winning a couple of headers against Ngomara Keita now. Trotman gives the ball away, but then it's immediately won back again. Can Brad Jackson get a toe in? He can't, but Ngomara Keita can head away. Here's Maguire. Can he play it to a Yinsan and find a little pass here? He's played it to Bulkley instead. Go on, Bulkley. Get into that penalty area. Get across your man if he can. It's a sly tackle gone. A good sly tackle, though. Claxton. He gets past his man. Whips the ball in. Maguire. There it is. There's the first goal. And that's Maguire's first header. He's only 5 foot 7 or so. Most of his goals are played one on one. But uh, yeah, brilliant finish from Maguire. And it's 1-0 to Greggs against the team in the league above. And that's the thing. That's the sign I wanted to see in this game. I wanted to see if we were capable of winning this league and capable of going up. And I think this is a clear sign that we perhaps are. Love to see it. Great header from Maguire. Greggs 1-0. Right, I'm going to make a few substitutes. Not great that we've started a highlight just as I've clicked that. But um, I do need to sub a couple of people off. Bulkley then for King Harness, I think. We need to play him a little bit more because the... Uh, People who have loaned them to us are getting annoyed. And then the final substitution I'm going to make is I'm going to bring on Adam Bale for Owen James, who's not had a very good game in midfield, actually. What I will do is just nudge the time-wasting into sometimes. So that's all I'm going to do, plus the subs, and I think that should be fine. I don't want to time-waste all the time. Hopefully they don't score from this highlight, otherwise I may have to cancel these changes. Blakeman with that ridiculous clearance. Ball over the top from Bulkley in search of Maguire. It's back to Mason. And they can play the ball out from the back now, Curzon Ashton. Dinked forward. I do like the name Curzon Ashton as well. It's a pretty cool name for a football club. I'm guessing it's in Ashton, but what does Curzon mean? Or maybe it's in Curzon Ashton, I don't know. Good tackle from... Oh, penalty for that! For that! Are you joking? Are you joking? Penalty goes in, it's 1-1. And yet again, in this league, penalties are just... If you slide in the box... It is a penalty. That is what happens in this league. And quite frankly, it's kind of stupid because they look like such good tackles. I don't see why it's a penalty. I think we need a little bit more detail from Football Manager just on those instances and on some take-ons as well. I'd like to see a bit more detail. We have a throw-in though. 
Maguire tries to get past his man. He's given it away. And Curzon Ashton can come forward here with Knowles, who has caused us problems so far. Uh, Walker on the right-hand side. He's going to get a cross in, is he? No, it's going to hit the man. And now Jackson can come on the counter-attack. Go on, Jackson. Play the ball through. It's Maguire. Gets past his man. Plays the ball into Mbeka. And Becker shoots! That time I didn't want him to. That time I didn't want him to shoot. That time I didn't want him to shoot. I have arranged extra time for this game. And we've actually kicked on in this second half to get 18 shots in the end. And it's going to be extra time. Do we get one more sub? Throw in from Cowan into Pinchard. He's going to dink the ball forward and Ward's going to head it. He shouldn't have headed it. And now he's going to be beaten to the ball and that's going to be a goal. Dominic Knowles has scored and uh, Nick Knowles, wasn't he on TV a few years ago? DIY SOS. Well, he's knocked up an absolute dream of a cabinet <laughs> from that finish. I don't know what I'm on about. I don't know what I'm on about. I'm just disappointed. Nick Knowles has come through, smashed it into the left side, and uh, it's a goal. And I don't know why he's headed that. Isaac Ward had so much time to not head the ball there. And it's just very frustrating that we actually might go out of this trophy. Having played very well, I'm going to bring on Molas because Iyinsan is knackered. Starting the second half, and now I need to do things like... I've completely forgotten to remove the uh, time-wasting. Let's get rid of that. I don't want to go extremely direct. I don't want to do anything too drastic. I'm just going to move the lines up, maybe, to much higher. And we'll hope that they don't get in behind. They have been trying to get in behind. But we shall see what we can do for the last 10 minutes. At least give us a highlight or a chance. We've had 22 shots. Curzon Ashton throw in right in our left corner flag. Not really where we want to see the ball. Knowles has got it again. It's a good ball in. The game's over. Nick Knowles has destroyed us. He has absolutely destroyed us. And I'm desperately trying to think of DIY puns here. Comment down below any DIY puns that I could have made for Nick Knowles. I'm just too disappointed to think of them right now. Molas to redeem something for Greg's maybe. Here's King Harness. Whips the ball in. Maguire's there and the goalkeeper catches it like it's nothing. Sure, sure, whatever. Whatever you say, FM. Whatever you say. And Becker, still the chance goes alive. And Becker, Bale, dinks the ball in. That's going to be offside, but uh, Blakeman's going to pick the ball up. Can he do the ball in? He can. It's poor. Bale again. We still <laughs> keep coming here. Can we keep going? Golden Becker play out wide, out wide, out wide. Don't shoot. Out wide to Claxton. Great ball in. It's sort of a great ball in. Jackson with a Rabona for no reason that goes over everyone. Claxton is there. Headed away. Can we get the ball back in? It's cleared away. It's an absolute scrambles from the team. And there's the full-time whistle. And unfortunately... We've lost to Curzon Ashton, but we gave a very good account of ourselves. And I think if the game hadn't given that ridiculous penalty... So Walker comes through here, goes into the penalty. How is that not just a brilliant challenge? In what, in what way is it a penalty? Please be more clear with your fouls next FM, please. Come on, Sega. Come on, Sports Interactive. Just a little bit clearer, just so that I don't feel like I've been robbed every game. Because it is quite a lot that we do concede a penalty. Right, so the... Team for this next cup, we actually get seven substitutes, which is kind of fun. We're going to change a few things around simply because this trophy doesn't mean quite as much to me as the previous one. And there are a few players in the team who are a little bit tired. For example, Ngomra Keitsa and uh, Bulkali and Jackson. They're all a little bit tired. So we're going to replace those. So Kings Harder is going to come in. Gayazi is going to come in. So it's a much reduced team. But hopefully we can get a result. We'll see what happens in this game. Let's submit the team and get into it. Double away from home in today's episode as we head to Rosset Park to take on Marine. The ground which hosted Tottenham Hotspur last season in the FA Cup. So in real life. So uh, let's see if we can do a Tottenham and beat them 6-0 or however many goals they beat them by. 15 minutes in and nothing has happened so far. No highlights and no shots for Greggs at all. Although I just had a shot as I said that, but nothing to write home about. Here could be the first chance though. Blakeman throws the ball into Burton on the left-hand side. Tries to play it in, easily intercepted. And Greggs have given the ball away. Here's Doyle. He plays the ball forward to Holman. T T Nittle? Nittle? Holman, another foul in the penalty area. I'm just kind of done with penalties, really. They're just given every single game. Either we get one or we um, give one away. Go on, Fitzsimmons. Yeah. Oh, I genuinely thought he'd save that then. I genuinely thought he'd save that. Ah. Yet again, 
Gregs go 1-0 down, and yet again, it's a penalty for next to nothing. That one, at least that one's a little bit more clear. Like, it's a standing tackle that he has missed the ball of. The ball didn't change direction or anything. Whereas in the last game, the ball went away from the foul. Like, it, it wasn't a foul, it's a tackle. Ah, penalties, man, penalties. And that was the only highlight of the entire half. Incredibly boring game. And we're losing 1-0. Not good. Um, thrash arms. Far from pleased. Let's make a triple sub and bring on some of the the boys that could make a real difference for us. We're going to bring on Brad Jackson for uh, McGowan. We're going to bring in a Yin San and Maguire, I think. Because you know what, we'll leave we'll leave Maguire off for now because he le needed a rest more than a Yin San did, and that's how we'll change everything so far. Who's got that six point two rating, Blakeman? You know what? Get out my team, Blakeman, man. You're always moaning about playing and you can't even put in a performance against a team in, like, lower down the league that we should be beating. Marine are going to be our bogey team at this rate. I don't really fancy playing them again. 60 minutes been played then and still no highlight for Gregs. Maybe this is it. Waters throws the ball into Jackson. Back to Waters. Back to Jackson. Lovely little one-twos on the left wing here, but it's been... Easily cut out by the defender. Lice, it wins the header though, but nobody's there. And every time we don't win a ball in our own half, it just seems like it's going to be a chance. But Jackson's trapped back to win it back, which is nice. A Yin San is through. Here's Jackson. He gets past his man, shoots. And what even was the point of that highlight? Like, literally, what happened there that made me go, ooh, exciting? Nothing. We gave the ball away a few times and then put it miles wide. Waters plays the pass in to Jackson. He tries to get past his man, and again, we lose the ball in the midfield. You know what? I know this is a highlight, and it's probably a goal, but um, I, I, we need to dominate this midfield more. We're just not doing it. Uh, I'm going to bring a Yin San. No, I'm not. I'm going to do this. I'm going to bring Burton into a uh, central attacking midfield role and make him a shadow striker. Uh, Jackson is going to support, and King's Harness is going to attack now. We're going to lean it to the right this time. And we're even going to make our wing back attack on that right side. We're just going to lean to the right a little bit. Uh, focus play down the right. I'm going to put on. And we are going to distribute a little bit more quickly. And we're going to push our attacking line up a little bit. No, we're going to push our defensive line up and squish the game. Because there needs to be more of the midfield stuff. We're giving away too much by doing long passes in the midfield. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to squeeze the game a little bit. And hopefully that will help. Although we have won it back from this highlight. Great pass through from Ian San. Burton, he has scored. And I'm going to keep the changes as it is. I'm going to keep those changes. Burton manages to get a goal. Ian San with a nice pass. But we've uh, put Ian San up front now and drawn Burton back. Perhaps I'll swap those two over. I don't really know. Maybe. We'll see what happens. Into the last five minutes now. And still only the one highlight for Greg's this game. Two for Marine. Very boring game to be totally honest. It's straight to penalties. At least Matty Waters is on the pitch, who is our best penalty taker. I'm just going to... Um, Yin San's going to take second. I want Reese Powell on third. I want Bale on four. And then I want... Ooh, let's go with Burton on number five. Uh, I'm going to put my hands together and say... Relax, pick your spot, and don't change your mind. Don't change your mind, guys. Just put it in the corner that you were thinking. Hopefully hit them hard. Holman goes up, Fitzsimmons goes the right way, and the first penalty is scored. Waters steps up for this second one. Waters, our best penalty taker, 19 penalty taking, and that's why. Excellent penalty from Waters. Tense penalty shootout here. Hamami, he's going to take the next one for Marine. Hamami goes the same place as Waters, a very good penalty as well. Hopefully a Yin San can put his away. He's not our best penalty taker. He was about third or fourth on the list. A Yin San steps up. Very good penalty. They're all going down the left, though. A little bit nervous about that because you will get found out eventually. Nati or T steps up. Ace hit the post. Get in there. Come on. Marine missed the penalty. And now we have a chance to take advantage with Powell, who central attacking midfielder last season. Can he place it in the correct position? He can. Another one straight down the left. We love to see it get in there, Powell. Kengni now. Can Kengni score for Marine? Or will this be over? 
straight down the middle. Fantastic penalty. Just absolutely smashes it. No chance of any goalkeeper getting near that. Bale can put us in the driver's seat here, though. Can he score this goal? Bale steps up. Great penalty. They've all gone left. Every single one of them. I'm fine with it as long as they go in. The goalkeeper hasn't got any of them. And it's down to this penalty. If Fitzsimmons saves it, he becomes a hero. And we go through to the next round. It's Sargent who is going to step up. Come on, Fitzsimmons. You can do it, lad. He can do it. I believe in him. I believe in Fitzsimmons. Oh, unbelievable penalty. Fantastic penalty. And now all of the pressure is on this 19-year-old Burton who we've got on loan. Who has scored this game, to be fair to the lad. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. He's not played much this season. He really hasn't. He's been out of favour. Steps up. Burton. Great penalty. He goes right and makes it look a little bit nervous. A little bit too central for my liking. But it went in. And that's all that matters. Greg's win on penalties. We managed to get the result. And it's a fantastic one at that. I'm very happy with the result. And the way you played. Well done to the boys. And uh, that is going to be the end of this Greg's episode. We've ended on a wonderful penalty shootout win. Very happy with that. If you did like the video, please... Please, please, please give a like, a uh, thumbs up, like, and also a subscription. Really appreciate it if you could subscribe, subscribe. If it's the first time you're watching one of these videos, leave a comment in the below just saying, it's my first time and it was amazing or it was bad or yay Greg's or, you know, it was my first time and small comment, whatever. Leave a comment, basically. I'd love to hear your comments. If you haven't seen any of the videos, I'll leave a link uh, down in the description to the playlist to all of the Greg's episodes, and hopefully they're uploading in the right place. If they're not, I'll have to move that around. But uh, yeah, fantastic. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, remember to check out my socials. Twitch chat is down there. Uh, Twitch link is in there. Uh, Twitter, Instagram, all of that. Good, good stuff if you want notifications of when these videos come out, but you don't want to use YouTube, then Twitter's the base, best place for that. I tweet everything. Discord's down there as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. See you later. And remember, be kind to one another. See you later.